What's up guys? Just got a new laptop in the mail. It's an Acer Nitro 5 15 inch gaming laptop. This is to replace my old Lenovo laptop, which was starting to fail. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is cut this seal. Let me try that again. There we go. And with it, one thing I didn't know I was getting was a bag that fits the laptop just perfectly. So once we have this, comes with a sweet little handle. Pop that open and that open. Then this. And there's some nice looking black styrofoam in there. I'm going to get this pulled out. Before I reveal what was inside of it, I'm going to take a look at the other side of the box, which looks much better than the side I showed before. So we got the laptop, the cords, the bag, the instruction manuals, and Acer Elite Nitro support. So let's do the power cord first. So let's open this up. And it is big and heavy to say the least. Pull that out of there. See how we got power brick. Oh look, it's purple, pink, however you want to say that. I got a Ziploc bag. Because, you know, save the environment and stuff. So there's that. Little zip ties holding it together. Now let's move on to the laptop. Little chunks of styrofoam everywhere. I guess not little. Now this styrofoam looks so good, I might just consider keeping it. But then we got a nice, almost pillowcase-like feeling bag on it. So let's take the laptop out. First thing you see is the top. And there you go, that is the Acer Nitro 5 top and bottom. Looks like an Autobot, or Decepticon. But yeah, it's got USB headphone jack power cord, which is colored on the inside for some reason. Ethernet, HDMI, USB-C, and two more USB ports. A dope looking back. And a pretty hefty looking front, to say the least. So let's open her up. All right, so when we open this up, you get full HD 1080p, which is nice. A nice, decent looking webcam. Feels like a laptop screen. Another nice pillowcase feeling piece of plastic and the keyboard, that looks good. So we got Core i5 9th gen, N NVIDIA Geoforce GTX, and Neurobezel, all the good stuff that you want. So let's turn her on. Okay, first let's plug her in then. Okay, now we got the power cord. Let's plug her in. Got a nice little orange LED to show us it's plugged in. Now look at that. This laptop is kind of like the grandson, if you want to say, to my older laptop because my old Acer had its hard drive broken one day out of nowhere. So I got a cheap 
$400 Lenovo laptop as a replacement a few years ago. And now I am getting back into Acer. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Go to sound Use speakers. your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Good feeling trackpad. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Once I sign in with all the stuff that I don't want you guys to see, I will cut to it. All right, and here we go. Welcome to the best Windows ever. Okay. Well, we're using Microsoft Edge, so that's going to be... That is a good wallpaper. I do have to say that. I've taken off two stickers. I'm going to do the rest when I have a chance. Let's see, what's this? Nitro Sense. Okay. But first, I want to get into the core of this. Okay, so here we have my old Lenovo laptop with just the basics on it and the new Acer laptop. So let's go in and open up the task manager on each of these. There are no running apps. Yeah, of course there's not. So let's put both of these on full. Is this is on full brightness. Oh, wait, no, that's for that, no. Oh well. But let's go over to performance here. See here we got AMD Radeon CPU. I got an Intel Core i5 over here. The main reason that I got the new laptop is so I could get more than four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM because that just wasn't cutting it even for the little bit that I use this. So here I got eight gigs of DDR4 RAM and yeah, they seem to be doing just the same. The one thing that I do like about my old laptop that the new one doesn't have is a disk drive. But besides that, this should be an upgrade in every way. So now I'm going to get everything downloaded on the new one and I'll we'll be back. So now this laptop is all set up. It looks much better than my old Lenovo laptop does. It's got a much better sounding keyboard, in my opinion. Yours may be different, but good for you. There's uh, one thing that I will be getting for this laptop. It's a Bluetooth mouse, which will just make things easier for me to do. And I can also connect that mouse to my iPad, which I'm trying to make my primary working machine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.